When we talk about what makes a good source, uh, we're generally talking about expertise, right? Now, expertise isn't just about being smart. One of the common misconceptions is that we're looking for the smartest people, right? So we end up believing falsely uh, that a person from a prestigious university is going to know more on any issue uh, than a person from somewhere else, or that an astronaut is going to be smart about, say, vaccines, right? But expertise is about domain knowledge. This is the deep understanding of a specific topic. And this has been really important in the context of the coronavirus pandemic. Since the beginning, we have seen economists, tech industry entrepreneurs, psychologists, chiropractors, politicians, social media influencers weighing in on how to respond to the disease from a public health perspective. And while some of them uh, might be generally very smart people. The problem is that none of them have a deep understanding of viruses. None of them are epidemiologists with an understanding of how viruses spread. No matter how well intentioned they may be, uh, they are not good sources of public health information. Here's an example. This is Elon Musk uh, from March saying this will all be over in April. Now, Musk uh, builds Teslas, right, an electric car. He runs another company that literally launches rockets into space. But none of that helps because he doesn't know anything about viruses. So how can we evaluate expertise? How do we know if someone is talking about the field they have a lot of experience in, a field in which they have a history of being careful with the truth, or if they're just spreading unfounded opinion? Most prominent individuals and organizations do have Wikipedia pages. So you can use our Wikipedia trick to help you here as well. If someone doesn't have a Wikipedia page, you can still run a quick search of their name to see if you can find any evidence that they have the appropriate domain knowledge. Recently, we've seen some doctors like Dr. Phil going on cable news and offering health advice. Uh, so in this case, a quick trip to his Wikipedia page shows that his training is in psychology. Psychologists know a lot about human behavior, but you would never visit a psychologist to get treated for a virus, so maybe we don't want to listen to his opinion on this specific public health issue, uh, especially if it contradicts advice that most experts seem to agree on. Now compare that to this person's page. Uh, Dorothy Crawford uh, has a Wikipedia page that's a lot shorter, but we see that she is a professor of microbiology and she has published a number of books on virology for the prestigious Oxford University Press. Does this mean we just trust people like Dr. Crawford? Not exactly. Experts disagree and expertise is hard to judge. So more often than not, with complex issues, you don't want just one expert opinion. Your best possible source, at least to start with, is going to be one that makes an effort to reach out to many experts and synthesize what they say in a disinterested way. This is one reason why newspaper reporting uh, is still really valuable. A good reporter tries to understand the places where there is consensus and dissensus among experts and accurately reflect that. They are in a position to know on the basis of the expertise they have access to, but also their skills at sorting through it. You see a very similar pattern with professional organizations. If I'm going to the web to find information on COVID-19, I'm more likely to trust the Public Health Agency of Canada than any one expert or single doctor. Because these organizations aren't about advancing a single theory. They are about sorting through very divergent opinions and trying to find the signal in the noise. Now, having expertise doesn't mean that someone can't make mistakes or update their thinking. Even during this pandemic, we've seen experts change their recommendations, and that's going to happen uh, when so much is unknown and new information is coming out constantly. But the sign of a real expert is someone that has the right domain knowledge to evaluate that new information, draw those new conclusions. And the most useful experts are those that take care to tell you uh, not only what they think, but put that in the context of what their colleagues think as well.